Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this fine December day we are doing a walk around video on this absolutely gorgeous Mercedes-Benz Wild Axe Alara S. So this one is a sold unit that we've got special permission by the very kind uh, orderer of to, uh, to do a video on it. Alaras, we absolutely love Alaras, we can sell as many as we can get, we just can never get that many in fairness to it. So it's a very, uh, very rare very desirable, very specialist um, luxury van conversion. So Wild Axe from Yorkshire, they're part of Rapido, but they're very much a, a family builder of high quality van conversions. And the Alara is, I think you'd call it their flagship. It's based on the Mercedes-Benz extra long wheelbase. It's 7.1 metres tip to toe. And this is in every way, maybe an alternative to a coach built or an A-class van, but with all the practicality of the lack of width of a van conversion, it's much, much narrower than a coach built. And obviously you're not gonna suffer from damp with a van conversion compared to the risk of that and structural problems with a coach built or an A-class. So um, these are very, very popular based on the new Mercedes Sprinter, which is gorgeous, as you can see. This one is in gray. Production ones from now on, I believe will be in silver. Um, 2.2 rear wheel drive so very good off of um off of tarmac um available as manual but i think everybody who's ever ordered one would probably have the the lovely is it seven or is it eight speed automatic i lose track but it's a fully automatic gearbox uh you got all the normal wild axing sat nav aircon cruise control so let's have a walk around the outside so you've got some lovely mercedes alloy wheels super smooth engine super quiet Great, great build quality. These are the king of the road, as you know, uh, and Wild Axe convert them to a very high level. So we'll have a look at the cab spec. It is a bit sandwiched in with the caravan, this one at the moment. So I do apologize for the lack of views down the other side, but we'll have a little look at the cab. So we've got this sort of semi-digital dash, which is very modern. We've got a lovely three spoke steering wheel with your cruise control controls and your stereo controls built into it. Oh my, I love these sort of retro, almost steampunk, um, flavors from mercedes that you get in with the steering wheel and these uh, turbine type vents which is really really smart you've got an electronic handbrake so there's no handbrake to be getting in the way you got auto headlights uh, as you'd expect um and then you've got a column gear change so there's no gear stick you've got uh, a little selector here for telling it what gear you want to use and then over there we've got your normal multimedia bluetooth sat nav radio dab thing cab blind all the way around on the side windows as well really smart trimming there we'll have a look at the upholstery in the inside as well trim a combi boiler so it's got a gas and electric combined heating and hot water system underslung fresh and waste water tank but they are heated and insulated as standard and wild acts are very much designed for those who want to go away in the depths of winter longer term off main hookup this particular one's got a, well, i think it's got a solar panel on the roof i can't remember if they ordered a solar panel they probably did and you've got your standard digital tv area on the roof set for cassette toilet there main hook up here and a large underslung gas tank underneath which you fill up then so instead of having a gas locker and having to rely on getting gas bottles which you can't get abroad and you can't get outside of office hours here you just fill up your very large underslung gas tank for an lpg gas pump which you can do all across europe um, and all across the uk it's coming around to the back uh, you've got your fresh water tank drain tap there we've got reversing sensors around the side and all the way across the back and factory fitted Mercedes reversing camera at the back there so it's a 316 CDI 168 164 horsepower 2.2 euro 6d so Alara is available in two different models so they do a low island bed which is uh, very unusual in a van conversion and then they do the German layout as, as they call it the uh, single beds over a large storage locker and that's what this is and that's the, that's by far and away the best seller so at the back there, you've got your headboard for your beds, and then underneath of that, you've got a massive storage locker, which is really, really cool. So looking at the back here, absolutely bucket loads of storage. Uh, they come with one ledger battery as standard. This one's had the optional second ledger battery fitted. It does have a solar panel, because in here, where you'll see your uh, solar panel charge controller, your battery charger, and all your trip switches and fuse boxes, all nice and easy to get to. Your boiler is in there and the dump point for it's in there your awning handle is neatly 
fitted across the back there and it's all very very nicely done this is the optional grey wood which most people go to you can have a more traditional sort of yellower coloured woody wood if you prefer all really nice nicely trimmed in that's a proper thing price wise on these they are a lot of money it is a mercedes sprinter if you walk into a mercedes garage and order this as a top of the range um, sprinter van oh god 50 60 000 maybe they are very expensive vans um so this alara to this spec which includes um well, it's going to have a bike rack you've got the optional awning solar panel and leather seats um about 85 grand ish something like that by today's money so they are a niche fan but they are really 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 popular and if you look at some of the other mercedes space vans out there uh, they are actually good value as well in Bernister. i mean i i, I gulp to say that for anything that costs eighty five thousand pounds but they stack up value for money wise and duncan is a uh, he's actually from lancashire but they're a yorkshire company and they build them to yorkshire standards so good value for money but very well built uh, so looking down the near side, you can see it's got very minimal graphics, which I like. So you've literally just got the Wild Axelara badging up there. One thing I love, this full length four and a half or five metre two lay awning with built in LED lights which come out as you wind the awning out. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. That and the way they reflect off your polished paintwork as well. It's just really, really smart. Um, so fairly small overhang, rear wheel drive, and rear wheel drive say so much better on, on say soft grass on a campsite where front wheel drive will be spinning your wheels, these won't. That's your fresh water fill up point there, your um, fridge vents, so because it's got the underslung gas tank, Wild Axe still use big three way fridge freezers instead of 12 volt ones, so there's no battery consumption when you're not on the mains as it's running from the gas from your gas tank, which again makes them practical for longer off of mains hookup, that sucks in cool air, that flows out warm air. Got a nice big electric step and then your sliding door which we will open up now so up opening up the sliding door you come straight into a front lounge this is a, a unusual so it's a european coach built layout in a luxury british van conversion um there's nothing else quite like an alara um but it's a really 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 popular so you got your button for your electric step i love the use of lighting all the way around and down here as well and if you sat outside as well that will help illuminate along with your awning lights up there and here um really really smart got some wine bottle storage down there every bit of space has been used you got storage in here just in that little bit under the floor you've got an extra bit of flip up worktop here and for your kitchen now, of course because it's a european layout but done by the british you've got the best of both worlds so you've got a comfortable lounge which i'm just going to get in so the camera will shake around a little bit so the lounge is not massive but the floor space is really good um, and it's a comfortable place to be for two this is a specific two-person luxury van conversion they've not compromised by fitting forward facing seats creating a pinch point here to get a seat belt they've not tried to squeeze in extra beds it is a luxury two berth which is a brilliant thing um, so you've got practical storage over the cab they've not tried to fit a panoramic skylight up there and lost your internal storage you need some internal storage so you've got storage up there there your mains cable and two of your table legs are up there you've got these lovely mercedes-benz swivel cab seats which are really really smart with your wild axe embossed headrest they use regal furnishings for their upholstery i think are the best in the industry super comfortable you've got adjustable knee bolsters just the best things now these have got optional grey upholstery you can have the new standard cloth upholstery which is very very nice or you can pick what colour leather or what colour cloth you want and um, just do it well ahead of time if you if you wish to to do so uh, but these are this is a sold unit these are available to order they're virtually sold out for the year i think we might have one or two left um you've got to order at least six months ahead of time please do that bear that in mind so if you want one do speak to us now at highbridge caravans devon branch and get your order in early to have any chance of picking one up this year um, but going back to the van so you got nice big skylight transverse mounted above got your side sofa there big side windows all nicely panelled in this one's got the outsmart the thief lockdown combined tracking and alarm system on it you've got a table that goes in there for this person or that person and you've got a table hmm, yeah, that's so you've got a table that goes in there i think we'll have a look at it i like these uh, loops tie down loops so you can uh, hold your doggy in i've got i like all these sockets as well so you've got 
underneath the sofa over there you've got a blown air heat event and you've got usb sockets and, uh, and a main socket over there oh, excuse my awful camera work we've got two sockets in the kitchen up there and looking at the kitchen you've got a a nice deep sink that comes with a washing up bowl and clip on draining board and then you've got two gas hobs and a, an electric uh, induction hob as well there for when you're on the mains and then you've got a combi gas oven and grill at a reasonable height lots and lots of storage these are big deep drawers lots of them same here as well you'll have some tin storage in there there's your tabletop storage for pots and pans underneath the oven we've got these beautiful curved high gloss cabinet work it's just if you look down the van it's just a, a lovely place to be these are really classy bits of kit in fairness to it they're a lot of money but they are a good long-term investment um and they're just the best at doing what they what they do in fairness this is really really smart great use of lighting all the way through fridge freezer massive fridge freezer which you get with most wild axes so that's all fridge freezer up there and then even more fridge which you could use for your drinks or your salad or your fruit or whatever underneath there full grey carpets all the way through wet room bathroom um because of the narrow nature of the mercedes there's no chance of getting a separate shower in but it's a really nice bathroom great use of lights again all the way around there hollywood mirror as your shower hose and you've got your basin down there depth cassette toilet on these ones and then coming up to the back so this is the single bedded one but it does make a large double bed as well but it is available if you want with a low island bed personally i prefer this one because it's got so much more storage i think it's a much better van but if you do want the low island bed one because you like a low double bed uh, which again no one else does then that's down to about sort of yay level but this gives you i mean look at these mattresses these are from jonic who do some of the best caravan and motorhome mattresses out there one absolutely massive single one big single i'm not sure the measurements on these but i'm sure they're both more than adult size I mean, they're really really big um new storage so you've got wardrobe space you've got another table so there are two tables so there must be two positions for them so you've got your hanging rail there table number two over this side we've got another hanging rail so wardrobe number two hers and hers wardrobes loads of deep drawers again really well built clothes with a nice thunk high level cupboards obviously the Merc's quite curvy so you don't get used space there but more high level cupboards and then you've got another cupboard there which i'm guessing gives you access into the into the garage yeah so if you need to grab something from your garage you can do or create a dog ladder and keep your dog in there you can do that and again what a great use of lighting you've even got lighting behind your headboards that's really cool isn't it that's really smart so you've got these spotlight reading lights i like again plenty of sockets main socket two usbs on either side fantastic manufacturers give us more sockets we've all got a dozen ebooks and kindles and, and ipads and phones give us more sockets and wild axe listen and um, duncan the md of wild axe he does use his own products and he does listen to what people want which is fantastic so you don't get that from the big manufacturers even though they are, they are a big manufacturer now single beds like that you can take this middle bit out if you want and use that as a table or something underneath there if you wanted to uh, this one's got the optional 300 pound double bed infill so you can put this piece into here that cushion into there then you've got a huge double bed the only thing is then you just have to sort of hop up into it um or just make it into a double bed once you're into it either way but again gives you one of the biggest beds of any van out there really it's an absolutely massive bed uh, yet yeah, it's a van conversion with all the ease of use and the uh, ability to drive down a narrow country lane with no problem at all big skylight again number two big hecky roof light up there and yeah it's just a lovely thing i can understand why people like them in fairness to it so uh a lot of money mid 80s depending on what spec you want uh, not many left beautiful vans uh, any questions hybrish caravans devon branch please ring us at the devon branch of hybrid we do the wild axes down here um or you can contact us through the Highbridge Caravans website, highbridgecaravans.co.uk. If you see this on YouTube and if you leave a, uh, a comment, we will spot it eventually. Um, so we will reply to that as well. So this is the absolutely wonderful Wild Axe Elara S at Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch. Thank you very, very much. Goodbye.